Evernote is my favorite digital personal assistant. It's a way to capture all of your experiences and access them from anywhere. Type a note, store documents, record audio, capture a photograph, or any other moment you want to remember. Evernote saves and synchronizes your digital life across all of your devices. The note I created on my laptop for this morning is now being accessed on my iPhone. I use it to stay more organized, plan events, design and manage projects. You can even capture and save from websites. Capture anything and know that you'll always have it at your fingertips. And it gets rid of paper clutter. There is so much more to Evernote than 45 seconds allows for, so take the time to check it out for yourselves. Thanks! Today's Meet. For those of you who are playing with the idea of using Twitter in your classroom but aren't quite ready to take the plunge, then I would suggest Today's Meet. Today's Meet is a tool that can be used in the classroom to allow students to communicate and collaborate with each other. The teacher or presenter creates a room which allows students a safe and secure environment to collaborate. Students who have difficulties asking questions in class may be more apt to if they know that no one will know who is asking the question. By using today's Meet, students are actively engaged and receiving immediate feedback by both their teacher and their peers. I spoke earlier about the power of using Twitter to build your PLN. What I found was that I was more likely to use Twitter if I had an app on my smartphone that would allow me anytime, anywhere access to my Twitter feed. With that in mind, I tried a large number of free apps, but finally settled on TweetBot. Some highlights include a timeline with numbered new items as you scroll, buttons embedded with images, multiple timelines that you can filter by groups, slide right for easy view of conversations within the timeline, and a fully customizable toolbar. At $2.99, TweetBot is well worth the money for anyone who's an avid user of Twitter or someone who's just getting started. Storybird is a new online literacy tool to inspire students to read and write. Storybirds are short stories written by students. Students use the illustrations provided on the website to unleash their creativity and to engage their imagination through their own writing. This is a great tool to inspire the most reluctant writers and readers as they can see their final product immediately and use it as a tool to practice rereading. Students can share and comment on each other's work. This real-time feedback is an excellent way to build confidence. When students have completed their storybird, they can share them via email, download them, or print them. They can be read like books, play them like games, or sent as greeting cards. Storybird is private and safe and free for teachers. The tool that I chose to highlight is Statagram, which is an online viewer for your Instagram feed. I love using Instagram to share photos with other people. Um, but the thing about Statagram that makes it really nice is that it gives you all kinds of data or statistics about the photos that you share using uh, Instagram. So things like which day of the week you post most of, most of your photos or what hour of the day, what filters you choose. Uh, but it's also a really nice way just to browse through the photos that you share and the photos of the people that you follow on Instagram. It makes it much more accessible. And not only can you see the photos, but you can also see all the conversations that are happening around those photos, like the number of likes, who's liking your images, and who's left comments. But the best thing about Instagram is the fact that they're bringing back square pictures. My Big Campus is an easy digital learning strategy that you can use with your students. It's a great online learning environment where you can post assignments and discussion topics for students based on the curriculum unit you are studying. Students can share ideas, respond to one another, and submit assignments with attachments. And it's all there at your fingertips. As the teacher, you can respond with individual comments to specific students and or to the entire class. Videos, articles, web pages can be uploaded by the teacher and or students. You can also post quizzes and grade assignments. It's also very easy to sign up students or invite others to get into the environment. There's an online webinar training that helps you get started, so check out their website. While I use the Show Me app on the iPad to create videos for my students, there are several other types of recording software available for both PC and Mac. QuickTime is a built-in screen recorder, as does Smart Notebook, but the best is Screencast-O-Matic. is the simplest to use and can be accessed by both Windows and Mac computers. 
All you need to do is type in the web address into any browser and then click the Start Recording button. You can record your entire screen or just a small section. You can record notes, web instructions, tutorials, video notes for a sub, a student presentation, a flipped classroom lesson. Videos can be up to 15 minutes long. Not only is it fun to say, but Screencast-O-Matic is completely free! And so easy to use, I don't even need my full 45 seconds to explain it. Thanks, Kevin. I love Screencast-O-Matic so much, I used it to make this video. What student will turn on a fun video game? Academics.com provides your students with an ad-free, anonymous, no-login-required website to practice and hone math concepts against people from all over the planet. More recently, spelling and world geography have also been added. Challenge your students until one of them goes home and practices to the point where they can beat you. It happened, but I'm more proud than hurt. Spend time working with a student having a little bit of difficulty while others move forward at their own pace and try their hands at more difficult games and tougher opponents. You can also print out certificates and top scores to monitor growth and progress. Watch me beat these kids. This one is a must for the math classroom. Manga High is a 100% free K-12 resource that is an online games-based site used to teach math. A teacher sets up his or her own students and student logins. You preview, choose, and set challenges either for the entire class or for individual students, allowing you to choose challenges at the right level for each student. Kids can also choose to play problem-solving type games way beyond their grade level. We've had grade 7 students solving quadratic equations and not even realizing it. The best part is that kids see it as playing rather than working. They can repeat challenges to achieve mastery, and sometimes their school is invited to challenge other schools in a burst of activity called a FITO, where students compete and earn badges for their school. So at this point, you've heard about so many different tools, but how about if the web was working for you? If this, then that basically turns all those tools, one of them into a trigger and the other one into an action. So for example, in an awkward situation, you surreptitiously send a text and your phone rings saying, you know, I got this important call, I gotta go. Or someone tags you in Facebook, you can have that automatically dropped into your Dropbox. Or each week, Apple releases their free app of the week, you can automatically have that sent to your email so you can get every app. But here's one you can try right now. If you're on Twitter, just send a tweet. I'm an SJSD peep as a hashtag like you see there and you'll automatically be added to my list of SJSD peeps. You could use the same thing to ge quickly generate a list of students in your class if you're using this in the senior years or to quickly get up to date around a hashtag about some world event. My time's up.